Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Mathieu Burel. And you'll see in Photopia I've already opened up a photograph of myself. And the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the background with the magic wand and pressing delete. And that's got rid of my background for me. And then I'm going to go image adjustments black and white to turn my image black and white. Click OK. All right. Now we can start doing some editing. So I'm going to zoom in to the top of my head and I'm going to grab the free pen tool with a red fill and no stroke. And I'm going to make sure the tolerance is up to 50 or thereabouts. And then I'm going to draw a wavy line across the top of my head. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to go up and carry on the wavy line above the first line I drew and then go back down to the initial point and that's made a shape that I'm just going to use the arrow tool to bring to the edges of my head like that okay and then I'm going to right click on the layer and I'm going to click on rasterize which turns it from a live shape into just a shape and then I'm going to use the magic wand to magic wand that shape and then go select modify and contract and contract it by 10 pixels and that's going to make my mask a little bit smaller i'm then going to make a new layer and i'm going to choose black in the color select and then in the other color select a kind of dark gray that's good okay and then i'm going to use the gradient tool hidden under the uh, paintbrush here and check that I've got the black to gray gradient and then drag the handle to fill that space with that gradient. Okay, right, now I'm going to press Control D to get rid of the mask and I'm gonna to go to the layer which is currently red and I'm going to go image adjustments, black and white and then I'm going to go image adjustments, brightness and contrast and I'm going to whack up the brightness a lot so that it looks like a light edge. And then to make the illusion complete, I'm going to grab the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm going to cut through the middle of that shape. And up and over my head. And then I'm going to make sure I'm on the photo layer and press delete and that gets rid of the top of my head. And there I have myself with a hole in my head. Okay, but we need to fill that hole with another of me. So I've grabbed another photo here and opened it in Photopia. And I'm going to do the same again. Magic wand, press delete to get rid of my background. Um, get rid of the mask and then image adjustments, black and white. Click OK. And then I'm going to use the rectangle select to select the whole image. Press Control C to copy it. Go back to my original project. Control V to paste it in. Okay, there it is. And then I'm going to use the arrow tool just to resize it and rotate it a bit. And I want this image to be flipped. So I'm going to go edit, transform, flip horizontally. And that's going to turn it the other way. And that is looking good. It's a little bit bigger. Okay. That's good. Right. Now we need to make it look like this image is inside the hole of my first head. So I'm going to zoom in so I can see better. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is merge the two shapes together that make the hole. So right click and merge layers. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer. So right click, duplicate layer. Okay, so I've got two, but I'm gonna make one of them invisible for now. Then I'm gonna go back to those shapes and I'm going to click the magic wand and just take the edge of that shape Go back to my photo layer and press delete so it gets rid of that bit in that photo layer. 
Okay. Then I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to cut through the center of the hole again. And I'm going to go down and around this photo back up to the top. Okay. And then I'm going to, on this layer, the top one, I'm going to press delete. Okay. And that is going to get rid of the bottom of the image. Okay. Right. Now on my shape layer again, I'm going to use the magic wand and I'm going to get the inside shape. So the kind of hole, if you will. Then I'm going to, once I've done that, go select invert and that has selected everything but the hole. And then on that bottom photo layer, I'm going to press delete and that's going to get rid of what I need to get rid of on that layer. So I've got some of my head on one layer and some on another. So I'm going to take those two layers and merge them together. And I now have my head on one layer there poking out of my other head. Okay. Now I need to make the hole again. So same as last time. I'm going to grab the free pen tool and I'm going to draw a wavy line across my head and then when I get to the edge of my head I'm going to go back with another wavy line above the original wavy line okay and join to the first point okay Right, once I've done that, don't worry about that wonky top edge, it's going to be hidden by my next head, so all I need to do now is go to the arrow tool, so I can just make sure that the shape is to the edges of my head, and then right click on the layer to rasterize it, so it's not a live shape anymore, magic wand the shape, select, modify, contract, the mask 10 pixels so I've got that inner shape make a new layer and then use the same gradient tool with the same colors as last time to fill that area with the gradient okay then once you're happy with the angle I think that's looking good then go to the currently red shape underneath and go image adjustments black and white click OK and then image adjustments brightness and contrast and whack up the brightness same as last time okay right now I need to do the one last thing to make the illusion complete again and that's use the polygonal lasso tool just to cut through the hole and go up and around my head and down and then press delete and there it is that's got rid of the top of my head so I now have my head within my head now I need to do one more head this one we're gonna do in color but before I do that I'm gonna select all my layers go image adjustments color balance and I'm just gonna put the red up a little bit and the blue down a little bit I think that's perhaps a bit too much so I'm just going to make that a bit more subtle okay and that's turned it into a kind of warm sepia black and white rather than a straight up black and white okay now next photograph same again magic wand and delete to remove the background and then image adjustments hue saturation for this one because I want to bring up the saturation just a little bit more make it a bit more colorful click OK that's your preference though, it's up to you. Then I'm going to use the rectangle select tool to select the whole thing. Press Control C to copy it, Control V to paste it into my new project. There it is. Okay, now I want to flip this as well. So edit, transform, flip horizontally. And that's going to flip just that bit. And then I'm going to use the arrow tool to shrink it to a size where it looks like it's popping out of my second head 
Okay, I think I'm going to need to rotate it as well. Okay, that's good. Happy with that. And then we need to make it look like it's popping out of my head. So we're going to do this in a slightly different way this time, to show you a different way. I'll just make my head invisible for a minute while I merge these two layers together, same as last time. And I'm also going to make it visible again so you can see me right-click and duplicate the head. Okay. And making the head invisible again, this time I'm going to cut through the hole first and kind of guesstimating where the bottom of my photo that I've made invisible is. Go round the bottom. Then I'll just make it visible again so you can see. And I'm going to press delete on that. So it's going to get rid of the bottom of my head. Okay. But obviously it's taken that bit in the hole off. So I'm going to use this layer to bring it back. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the magic wand tool and just mask off the inside of the hole there. All of the inside of the hole. Okay. Let's make sure I've got all of the gradient. And then I'm going to go select inverse. And it selected everything other than the hole. And I'm going to press delete. And then you'll see I have both of the bits of my head making my head complete. So I'm going to right click and merge those two layers together. And that is my last head poking out of the hole in my second head. Okay, right. So now we need to make a hole in this head. This is the last effect. So same as the other times, free pen tool, draw a wavy line across the top of your head and I've just spotted that the magic wand has taken a bit of my ear so I'm gonna make sure I put the mask over that to cover it okay back to the beginning and then use the arrow tool to just make sure I've got it from the edge of my head to the other edge and actually I'm just gonna bring it down to cover off that bit where the mask accidentally took a bit of my ear. That's good. Okay. Nice. And then same as before, I'm going to right click on that layer and rasterize it. And then same as before, magic wand to mask it off. And then create a new layer. Bottom right hand corner, create layer. Okay. And then select, modify contract by 10 pixels and that's made my mask smaller uh, but this time it's a color image so I'm going to use the eyedropper to select a dark bit of my face and a light bit of my face not too light though okay and then I'm going to use the gradient tool to fill that area oh wrong way I need to do dark at the top okay That looks good. Okay. That's better. Right. And then the same as before, get the currently red layer. And we're going to fill that with a color. So I'm going to make a bit of a kind of darker, medium flesh tone. Make sure it's in the top color picker. And then I'm going to use the paint bucket just to fill that whole area. Okay. And then I'm going to go image adjustments, brightness and contrast, because I want it to be a bit brighter than that. It's looking good. Click OK. And then same as with the other two layers, go back to the photo of the head and then use the polygonal lasso tool to cut through the middle of the hole and over the top and then press delete and there you go that is almost this piece done 
Last thing we need to do is make the whole thing look like it's floating heads. At the moment I have a body there, so we're going to zoom in down the bottom and I'm going to use the polygonal select on the bottom photo layer. There it is. And I'm going to draw around my chin and then down and around my beard. And back up again. And then over, down, over the other side, up, and then back to the original point, and then press delete to get rid of that. There we go. And then when I zoom out, you can see the whole thing, which is pretty much done. We just need to put a background on. So I'm going to go to new layer and drag it all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to go to the color select and grab white, click OK. And then I'm going to use the paint bucket to fill the background. And there it is. OK. Right. And then we're just going to resize the whole thing. So I'm going to select all the layers together and use the arrow tool to just resize everything to the size that I want it to be to kind of fill the space nicely then give it a nudge just to centralize it and that is it that is this piece done and dusted I hope that you find this tutorial helpful